Hello everyone, this is Ishwar Jal Mato and in this video I'm going to show you how we can design a tense and a spring using Catia V5 software. So let us get started. So go to start mechanical design, then after go to wireframe and surface design. Click OK. And let me show you how tense and spring actually look like. So this is uh, tense and spring and today we will design that one. So so now come to get yeah, software then after I take a point in y direction its magnitude will be 30 click ok then we need to create a helical sorry helix for that we need to select the starting point so this will be our starting point then we need to define the axis along which it will be created take x axis and we will define the pitch it will be 10 and height we will take 100 so now select the zx plane go for a sketch and use this arc option and make one, one arc and its radius will be 30 and its starting angle 0 and ending angle will be 1 type. now we have to make this constant for that we need to take a dimension Take the dimension 1 to 6. So now it is fully constrained. Now go to exit workbench and use this option connect curve in the wireframe toolbar. Select the arc and the endpoint of helix and click on reverse direction. So we will get a smooth curvature. Yeah, this one is okay. Take up preview, click OK. Now, again, we will do that one. First of all, at this point, then again, we will take ZX plane and go for a sketch and draw one arc and again its radius will be 30 the starting angle will be 180 this time and ending angle will be 155 and we need to give the dimension from arc center to our coordinate axis take this one as 26 now go to exit workbench yeah. and use this option again connect curve select this end point of arc and end point of this helix Take a preview. Yes, this one is okay. Click OK. And now we will join this curves by using option join. Select the individual curves in a sequence manner. Yep. Take a preview. Click OK. Now what we will do we will take a plane which is going to be perpendicular to this profile so use this option plane and select the curve then again select any endpoint and select this perpendicular and perpendicular plane and go for a sketch 
Now draw one circle. Define its radius. Diameter will be nine. And we need to also consider this circle. Yeah. Now go for exit workbench. By clicking part body, go again mechanical design and part design. Here we will use this option rib. Now select the rib option and select the profile along which it is going to be shaped. Now we need to select the center curve. Take a preview. Click OK. Now by pressing shift key, select all the plane and hide it. Yeah. Now we have to apply the material for this tension spring. So for that, just double click on the part body and go for this icon, apply material. And we will go for metal. We will use steel. Click OK. So this is how we can apply material on that and if you want to measure its mass or weight then just use this icon measure inertia and select this part body it will give you the volume area mass density so this is how we can make a tension spring using catia v5 software so I will be back with a new video on uh, next week. Till then, bye bye, take care.